We have many birds in Nebraska and we see them around our home. Sometimes they're a joy, sometimes they cause some problems. We're going to talk about one that causes a few problems but actually has more beneficial attributes than the problems it can possibly cause. And that's our barn swallows. We have several swallows in the state of Nebraska, cliff swallows along with the barn swallows. These swallows feed on insects, eating more mosquitoes than bats or purple martins. So they're great to have around as far as eating different insects. They'll eat on wasp, they'll feed on beetles, even those beetles that lay grubs in your lawn. But they also love a lot of mosquitoes. Now one thing about barn swallows that's a little disadvantageous is they love to build mud nests. Now these mud nests are usually placed above your door. And that's when problems occur because below the mud nest, besides some mud falling, if they're nesting there, you can also get a lot of droppings. Now, a lot of droppings in front of the door can be a problem. If the droppings fall on the ground, less of a problem. It's when those droppings fall on a deck or on a porch or on your sidewalk, you get a little bit of a health problem. But actually, the benefits you get from those swallows feeding on insects and mosquitoes far outweighs any problems with those droppings. Now, one thing people don't realize Barn swallows are a migratory bird, which means they're not in Nebraska all year round. They come here for the spring and summer, and because they're a migratory bird, they are protected as a migratory bird, which means once that nest is completed and they start to have a, put eggs in that nest and tend to young, young, you cannot remove that nest or harm the bird, and you can't harm the bird in any way or form any time of the year. So, if you don't want them in a certain area, put up some netting or some deterrent pieces of wire before they finish that mud nest. Once they finish the mud nest, don't touch it until the season is over with. By June, usually they have young in that nest and then you definitely don't want to get near it. By the end of the year, by the end of August, they're done with the nest, the young are all about, and then there's no problem. Now, some people are afraid of these birds because they swoop down at you. They're just trying to keep you away from their young. They get close, but don't worry about them hitting you, and don't worry, they won't hurt your cat or dog either. They have a small little peck.